today's little job, engine mount repair. So what have we got? Funny things these. So we've got this spring business, and then we've got this lot, and then we've got some, what looks like the sort of thing you'd um, use in the sink. <laughs> this sort of wild woolly uh, business. So that one goes on there like that, and that goes on there like that, effectively. But what we've got is this, that's gone. That bit there, you see. So we've we've lost lost that sort of peened area has been worn away probably because it ran a bit loose or something. I don't know what's happened there. So we're going to sort this bit out, straighten that out, and make a new one of them. I think. And then we we'll have to peen it over on both ends again. So there we go. We've got a bit of material here, a bit of bright steel. That'll do. See, we can't get through here in one go because the flutes end and that's where the swarf's going to come out. So if you try and wind that all the way through, once you get beyond there the swarf can't come out. But obviously at that point you know it can fill this up so you possibly could take it in and out but you really shouldn't be reversing it because we're going to get out of line and really I should be ream put a reamer through it in the last bit. But what we'll do We'll see how we get on with this one. See if we can get it done. See, because we're only taking 0.5 of a mil out, that's only 2.5 either side. And then we haven't got to keep reversing the piece. And then really, it'd be nice to go through with a reamer after that. But I haven't got a reamer. Well, I have got an adjustable one, but that's not long enough, necessarily. And that's what's got to go through it. And what I'm tempted to do is carry on with the job and then maybe when we've finished it entirely use a little reamer on it. Because we've got to sort these ends out. So that's the plan. That's going to replace that bit. And these ends are longer obviously because I've got to peen them over somehow. So the idea is that lock in there, won't it? That one I'd lock in there. So that'll work. We've got to work out some way of some sort of tooling. You know, to, to peen that over, somehow spread that over, which I might make something up for that. And obviously I've got to assemble it first. So it's a bit tricky this next bit because we've got to we've got to have it assembled hold it under the tension of the spring at the same time we've got to try and do this bit of thing where we peen it over Just to try and spread that a bit so it holds so it doesn't so we're not working against it trying to fall apart and then make a tool up for peening it over properly I think I think for now if I was just to spread that in there Slipping in the chuck, isn't it? Oh, that's not going to work. Let's um, we'll just try it on the bench on a bit of wood, I think. So I'm trying to get it to grab onto there a bit so it holds. dust coming out the Brillo pad. Funny design, isn't it? Let's see what else I've got in the 
in the toolbox for that job. I might have something else. It's starting to grip it. It's not, that'd be nice, that edge there, but it's not, it's not big enough to go through there. Or so rather, that's too big to go through there. Well, it's gripping it. But we've got to end up with more of that, haven't we? So we've almost got to go right over the top of it. It might split before we get there. We could use a little bit of heat, maybe. But I don't want to get it too hot because I don't want to affect this Brillo pad stuff. Well, the thing is, it will allow us to do what we're trying to do, which is this assembly job, isn't it? So you can see down here, we've got this stuff. We've got to push it past our collar. And then we want to get this on there. And that's got to push down. And then that's got to pop up through there like that. We've got to hold that in place whilst we do the rest of it. So we need some sort of thing to clamp it down to pull it all together. It almost needs like a big, big sort of, like the old start the motor Benzix clamp, that type of thing. You can put it in the vise, but it's going to pull it to one side, isn't it? I will have a quick look and see what I've got. Right, so that's my idea. That can go in there. If we're to use those either side, then we can screw these in, and then we'll have more room for them to go into, won't we? So, might stand a chance now. So we've got to peen that over, haven't we? Like we did the other one. Trouble is, is that... I'm going to have another look at this, I think, because I'm worried that that, that wiry stuff's got caught underneath it and it's not seating properly, because that's got to seat properly on that edge, hasn't it? If it doesn't seat properly, it'll be no good. So let's just, now we sort of know we're going to work. Let's try and um, we know we've got a chance of this one working now, haven't we? See, the trouble is, if that gets onto that edge, doesn't it? It's not going to seat properly. If you look at that, look, can you see the little little marks on it from the wires? I think they, I think that traps a load of wires under there. It's going to be devil's job not to have them trapped under there, isn't it? That's a bit better. Right, so we're going to have to do this thing where we thrash it about, aren't we? So we want to want it on the bench there, because on the vice it won't be holding it properly. So we want to do what we did before, which is try and peen this over, isn't it? Okay, I reckon that might do it. So we need to do the same on that end, don't we? All right. I mean, what happens is you get a through bolt goes all the way through this anyway, so it's not going to go anywhere. You see what I mean? So that's going to go all the way through anyway, which it does. I'll just take a little bit of corner out with the file just to neaten it up a little. So it's that burr off. So you put a bit of a burr on it when I was using them tools, you see. Okay, well that's rescued that, hasn't it? That'll do, won't it? Now what you're going to say is, <laughs> well I didn't just buy one. Well, they're not easy to come by and there's no fun in that is it? <laughs> so we made one. So there you go, well made that bit.
That's enough of that. Good night.